Hi guys, in this video tutorial I'm going to show you how you can enable custom theme files or custom visual styles. A lot of people have been, have been seeing my uh, tutorials on themes and they have said uh, I've got the classic theme, how do I uh, go back or how do I uh, use the theme anyway. Okay, so this is a tutorial on how to do it and uh, yeah, enjoy. Okay, so uh, there's a guide on how to geek. I'm pretty good at it, no. But um, there is a guide here, so you can either follow my tutorial or uh, follow this one. Okay, so first step, download the patched theme files, because you have some theme files on your computer, and uh, they're not good enough for, well, they're the ones not working, so you'll need some new ones. So you'll just right-click within v uh, Windows and open like a new tab. And real wait, I have no idea why my internet is slow today. I formatted my computer yesterday. So. Okay, so here we have all the custom theme files you want. Uh, here we have Windows Server, Windows Vista, Service Pack 1. Okay, if you have a 64 bit, uh, uh, if you have a 64 bit operating system, which you can check by right clicking Computer and Properties. Uh, as you can see here, I have a service pack 1 and I have a 32 bit. If you have Vista, Home Premium, any other than Ultimate, you have 32 bit. If you bought Ultimate in a, in a case, you probably have 64 bit. Okay, so we'll just go, we're just going to click this and open. Okay, the next thing we'll do is select all of them. Um, it will be a RAR file. So you'll need WinRAR for this or any other thing. If you don't know what WinRAR is, you can uh, see my video called What is WinRAR? And then just extract to desktop. He, these are the custom theme files. Okay, now we need two more things. Uh, then we'll create a restore point. Well, this is just, just in case. Okay, accessories and... Uh, no, click the start button, accessories, no, all program, accessories, uh, system tools, and uh, system restore. It'll take a while to open for some reason, I don't know. And uh, you can also recreate a system restore point in Windows Vista. Yeah, this is for Vista. Uh, just search for XP if you have XP. Okay, here it is. And then uh, you'll just to create a restore point, open system protection, and then uh, click there uh, on your C drive or whatever, and just click create, and then it'll create a system restore point. I'm not going to go do all of it, but I'm going to guide you through on how to do it. Okay, the next thing you want to do is well, it's here. You you want to take ownership if you have it good you'll need it if you haven't just follow this link it will also be in the description all these will be there okay so download it open with WinRAR or whatever and uh, then click install take ownership and it'll say here it'll say come this you want to add it to the registry yes just do that and um, yeah you're good to go I'll just Okay, then you have take ownership. What take ownership will do is it will be able for you to take the ownership of the system files inside the system32 or Windows uh, directory. So you have to right click them and click take ownership. So let's see. Uh, okay, so in here, I'll just copy this for a second because we'll need it. You want to go in computer now? Local disk C, uh, windows.old. Okay, I'll just delete that. I've been wanting to delete this file for a long time. Okay, now I'll click Windows and System32. Now in the search box, you're going to type in 
3.dll files. You're going to search for cmeui.dll and then capital O and R or uxtheme.dll or shsvcs.dll and then what you're going to do is right click them. Okay, these are my custom theme files. So what you want to do is right click them, right click them, and take ownership. And do that with all of these. Then come back and delete this. And you want to go, well, S H C E S, I think. No, let's just take X theme, means the easiest one to remember. X theme. This is not really easy to draw. Okay, now you will have this the DLL, you won't have these two, but just right click it and rename. And then call it dot old like this dot old. And uh, this will do that you have the old backup file as a second backup. Uh, nothing happened for me. Uh, for our very few people who make mistakes, it happens. Um, and now I have two dot old. I made something, and I need two. And then what you want to do is just rename all of them dot old. Or you can just rename one dot old, and then you can uh, take one in for each time. So here we need X theme, and then just drag it in, and that way you can uh, just to continue doing that with all the theme files. You can see the names if you've extracted them to your desktop, and uh, yeah, just do that, restart, and when you've done that. If you have a theme in uh, the themes folder, you will just go on control panel, appearance and personalization, and change the theme. Choose the theme you want to you want you want to use, and then just click apply, and then OK. And um, if you have a theme that goes over to, uh, let me show you, customize colors. I have default. Yeah, prefer default. Then. Uh, click open classic properties and you'll have Windows IRO and Windows Vista Basic and I have this IRO and this basic so this is another color file that you can choose from here and that way you can have custom theme files I mean I got my computer formatted as I said yesterday uh, I saved all my files in the windows.old directory and um, what I did was I just did this, rebooted, and uh, I got everything as it was before. I got a virus and my antivirus code deleted. Bad. And uh, that's basically how you do this. I mean, uh, nothing happened for me. It took me two seconds. No, not two seconds. But I'm pretty experienced with this. I think I've done it three times. Three times, yeah. So just follow the tutorial and really pay attention. If you really are in doubt of my tutorial, you can always go on howtogeek.com slash howto slash windows dash vista no I'm not going to say all of it the link will be in the description and uh, all the pages really really big no the comments are the one that are big and if you have any problems you can uh, go here and search in, um, in, the, in the comments for answers they probably have questions and answers and all of it and here it says you can do it that way as well applying the themes. I mean, I really love themes. Uh, I use them a lot. Uh, what I really like is the Windows 7 one. And I know that a lot of people have been saying, hey, I turned out to classic appearance with a Windows 7 wallpaper. Well, just watch my video now. Uh, I have everything fixed. And yeah. Thanks for watching. Uh, please comment, rate, subscribe. Especially subscribe. It will help me a lot. Subscribe to my partners. Uh, Alex LA09 and Tutorial Creators. Thank you very much for watching. I please hope, uh, I, I really hope that I'll see you soon again.